Well, I got the fertilizer buggy here from Harveyville Seed Company. I have everything already set up for my for my particular farm and the amount of uh, fertilizer. That's my fertilizer I'm going to put in. That's for two and a half acres. So we have everything hooked up. We'll go ahead and uh, get this show going. Okay, so we're heading out here to the farm and uh, just getting everything everything done. I need to back my trail, trailer up up here. We're going to do the corn first, so I'll go ahead and uh, engage everything and uh, come back. This is our, our young sweet corn, so there goes our geese, our young geese. And uh, that's our pumpkins and watermelon. And there's sweet corn over there, so. Right now we're on track to get everything put on, but it's looking pretty good. You'll notice there's the fertilizer spread on the ground. You can see it. We'll go ahead and uh, jump in the cab and uh, finish the spreading this. It's not gonna take me long. It's gonna go pretty darn fast. Okay, let me go ahead here and um, Engage my PTO and we'll continue on. wagon hooked right on back up there to the uh, to the back of my pickup how it works is I go and get it with my pickup which I can drive about 45 miles an hour with it I could probably drive faster but that's what I feel good at I don't swerve or anything so now I'm just going to take it on back to the uh, Harveyville Seed Company and uh, drop it off so this is kind of nice you don't have to buy uh, fertilizer buggy you can just the co-op has them now if you want to get into real scientific stuff you can go ahead and start getting into the buying your own buggies and stuff like that that have a little more gps coordinated uh, fertilizer but uh, right now it, it works pretty good and uh, yep heading back to harveyville all right dilly and i have the m and w dyna drive hooked up I'm gonna go till in this fertilizer that we put on, get that done. All right, well, I think it's a pretty good day to work the ground. It seems to be nice and dry. Uh, we'll just let you guys 
sit right here enjoy the show uh, ought to be a pretty good pretty good time here as I uh, use my M&W Drive to go ahead and work the soil so we'll get her started take a second and show you what that M&W does look how loose that soil is from an M&W really works it very well still leaves some trash on top it kicks everything up but leaves some trash on top uh, still allows for a little bit of a conservation This will area will be in plastic in a day or two Dilly and I will get out here and start laying plastic but it just does a, a wonderful job and uh, You want to work it when it's nice and dry like this, but look I mean it just kicks the kicks the weeds up It looks nice. I mean it really does those rolling baskets help crush some of those uh bigger some of these bigger ones and they're falling apart so it's not a real hard clod there so anyway i'll go back up in here and we'll keep going yeah it just does a real nice job it's a dusty one Real nice. tomorrow we're going to get a lot of more work done it's kind of exciting i guess you could say it's exciting to be behind as long as we're on time behind i'm good with it if you know what i mean kind of wish you had some jobs done but once we get going 
It's not gonna take me long to plant my corn here on the farm. I realize that with my, once I get going down the rows, boy, I'm, I'm good. So, all right, let me go ahead and get this unhooked and uh, we'll move on over there to the mulch layer. All right, so tomorrow, Delia and I are gonna go out there. We're gonna run water lines tonight, get them out there on our high tunnel. But I wanted to show you, I, I don't think we were really uh, getting a, a firm bed. Do you, Delia? Do you think there was a firm bed out there in the center? No, it wasn't. And one of the things they say to do to have a firmer bed is to add weight. So I put a couple center blocks, and those are actually those two stones in the middle. Those are dating back to the early days of Kansas in the Stone Post country. These were uh, picked up in Ford County, Kansas. And you can see this here's where they drilled the holes. And these were used to uh, designate land boundary and uh, cattle, cattle ground. Well, so anyway, I've added, a, I've added a, I don't know, a couple hundred pounds of weight there. I hope that helps us out. I'm looking forward to finding that out. And now Dillian and I tomorrow, where the pumpkins are going to be, we're not planting them until like the 15th, 20th of, 25th of June. So we're actually putting white plastic, white, uh, white on black, but white plastic out because I really think it's going to be too hot for black plastic to be put out at that time for a young plant. Uh, at least that's my, I'm hedging that bet. But we're also going to go ahead here and put out black plastic, which we're going to be planting uh, some watermelon here in just a couple of weeks, just a few weeks. So Dave has been getting that done, but everything else is good to go. Everything's ready. So now let's let me go and move this tractor over there to the high tunnel and uh, we'll start laying plastic in there in there and get those rows covered.